Good afternoon girls. I'm going to do a short video on how to subtract units of time. Last week I sent out how to add units of time. Now I'm going to do how to subtract units of time. Welcome to my kitchen classroom. The first thing I'm going to do is if we have got 12 years and 3 months Okay, and we have to take away eight years and nine months. Now, I said last time that we own, we always start subtracting or adding at the lesser unit of time. So the months that are going to become years. Now, if we look at the months, we cannot say three months not minus nine months. It's not possible. So we have to go over. We have to go over to our years and there we are going to have to borrow one year. So I'm going to leave him with 11 years. When I take my years back to the months column, it's not a year anymore. It's made up of 12 months and I have got the three months. So I have in fact got 15 months. Okay, I can't just put it and uh, say borrow with 10 because there are not 10 months in a year. So now I can say 15 months minus my 9 months and that is going to leave me with 6 months. I go back here, 11 years minus 8 years is going to leave me with 3 years. So if I've got 12 years and 3 months, take away 8 years and 9 months. That's going to leave me with three years and six months. Now, before we even start on anything, we need to know how many months in a year, days in a week, hours in a day. And we need to be pretty clued up on all of that. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do this. So let's look at another one. Let's look at if we've got weeks and days. So if I've got six weeks and two days, okay, let me just dry this board. And I'm going to take away, I'm going to take away four weeks and six days. Now, said to you we need to know how many days in a week so there are seven days in a week so I said we also start subtracting at the lesser unit of time so I can't say two days minus six days that is not possible so what I have to do is I have to go across to my week and I have to borrow a week and I'm going to leave him with five weeks when I take my week back over, um, it changes and it's seven days plus the two days that I have got over there and I ha now have nine days. So now I can subtract, I can say nine days minus six days and that's going to leave me with three days. Then I go over to my weeks column. And what I see there, I've got five weeks minus four week is one week. So my answer is one week and three days. I'm going to look at another one and it is days and hours. And I'm going to just tilt it like that. So I'm going to say if I've got five days and 12 hours. And I'm going to take away three days and 18 hours. So, how many days in a, how many hours in a day? They're 24. Quite right. Okay. Now, I cannot say 12 hours minus 18 hours. I need to go over to my days and borrow one day. That I'm going to leave him with four days. When I bring my day over to the hours column, he changes. He changes back into what he's made up of, 
which is 24 hours, plus the 12 hours that I have got, so I now have 36 hours. So now I can subtract. Now I can say 36 hours minus 18 hours is going to leave me with eight, 18 hours. I'll go across here. 4 days minus 3 days is 1 day and 18 hours. Alright. I hope that you girls will understand this. I have typed out the lesson. And um, so if you read your lesson and watch the video, you will be able to do the worksheet, but you will need to read, to listen and to read first.